We're gonna do another little fun summer series and I'm calling it top five. I'm gonna tell you my top five products in all kinds of different categories. You guys help me on Instagram and Twitter with what you would like to see. I said I'd start it off with top five drugstore mascaras. That's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna show you my top five drugstore mascaras of all time. And I have two honorable mentions as well. Two very, very budget friendly, even cheaper than these alternatives at the uh, drugstore. So let's go. This is my love, okay? I have loved Colossal, and I'm alone in this, I know, from a lot of people. I have loved Maybelline's Colossal Volume Express forever, okay? I love this almost as much as the one I'm gonna talk about next. Okay, here's the wand. This gives you crazy, stupid, thick, clumpy lashes like you have fake ones and I love it. Okay, it's not for everybody, it's not, but it's for the sexy people. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, I can't believe I said that because I make fun of people say that. Anyway, this is a great mascara, check it out. Let me know if you love Colossal, it's one of my favorites. Um, one of the things I should tell you is I usually never have problems with uh, smudging. So I'm gonna put that out there. I've only had two mascaras smudge on me, and we're not talking about them today. One's a one was a natural one from uh, Physician's Formula, and the other one was like some obscure brand and it smudged on me. So I usually don't have smudging problems. I'm always looking for volume. These are all volume mascaras. And uh, Colossal, I love. I like the yellow tube too, I think. I think that's part of my love for it, but no, it's what's inside, definitely. All right, I talked about this in the last video. L'Oreal Voluminous. I love L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Belt Black. It's the most used mascara of all time for me, personally, that I've purchased. Uh, the regular Voluminous, and then when they came up with Carbon Black, that's all I pick up now. Great, great wand, nice volume. Um, I can go several layers. My thing with mascara is I need to be able to go several layers with you. I don't like stiff lashes, um, but I can get over it if I get the volume that I want. Um, so I'm always, again, looking for volume, not so much length, and um, I love Voluminous because it's a great standard mascara. It mixes well with others if you are a mascara mixer. It's a great one to use in conjunction with another mascara. I love L'Oreal Voluminous, and I talked about this one recently, too. Uh, this is CoverGirl's Lash Blast Clump Crusher. I'll show you the wand. It's a fantastic mascara. Okay, this is the one I can go five minutes on each eye. I think I said that yesterday. Five minutes on each eye, no problem, no clumping. If clumping is an issue for you, you should already got this, okay? You should already pick this up and checked it out. Nice volume, not super crazy volume, but no clumping. I mean, I had to, I couldn't get this to clump. It hasn't clumped on me yet, so that's a really good thing. Great mascara. This is one of my loves, okay? I am so crazy about this. One of my favorite mascaras, and I'll show you, I have one, is Armani Eyes to Kill. $30 a tube, I buy it once, twice a year, probably twice a year. $30 a tube, fantastic, fantastic mascara. There's the wand. I hadn't planned to show you this, but I just will. There's the wand for the Eyes to Kill, $30 a tube. Love that stuff, favorite high-end mascara, hands down. Who was I watching the other day? I think that's the ex excess because uh, it comes in regular and it comes in excess and that's the excess is the black tube. It comes in a kind of a, a gray tube and I think I saw Tiffany D the other day say it was her favorite. I love that for years. Okay, it's really good mascara. This is the drugstore equivalent, which I think is so freaking cool. All right, All May uh, Get Up and Grow One Coat Mascara. This is the wand for that. And I'll tell you, the wands look different. Yes, they do. But let me just tell you, you get the same results. I am here to tell you. After I started uh, checking out the All May Get Up and Grow, I, you know, really could back off the eyes to kill. Because I was like, gosh, you don't want to like a $30 mascara. But once you start using it and it just gives you the most perfect results every time, you kind of end up buying it. But this is the equivalent. Um, all of these are black. You know, some shade of black, just in case you were wondering. I always get black mascara. The blackest black I can get. And this is a great, great alternative that I turn to more often than not. It's, it's fantastic. All may get up and grow. Check it out. Then, this is kind of a newer entry. This is something that I recently got into, and I love it because it's a perfect everyday volumizing look. 
not too crazy. It is, <clears throat> excuse me, Maybelline's Full and Soft Mascara. Love this stuff. It's just your perfect everyday. If you want something that isn't too crazy, is easy to work with, and just makes your lashes look good, this is the perfect, perfect mascara. Nice wand. Um, I can't say enough good things about this. This is my standard, and it mixes well with others as well. Very, very good mascara. Okay, <clears throat> I think I'm coming down with a cold. I wanted to do this video because I was like, oh, I got to do the, the, the chopping block next because I have reviews for you. Oh, my God. I loved some stuff. I got to tell you about it. Some of it is on my eyes. Um, okay, two budget-friendly mascaras that you just need to check out. Now, not as great results as the five that I just showed you. Granted, these are some budget mascaras that you might really fall in love with and are worth a try because like this one I paid $1.99. This one was like two bucks at Ulta too. Uh, this is Essence's I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. Let me show you the wand. It's very different from the other wands I've showed you. This is a different wand, but man, did I get nice results on my lashes. Now, when I say that they aren't going to give you as great a result, it's, you might have more problems with these than the first five that I showed you. Okay, with this one, I got a little bit of fallout um, a couple weeks into trying it. A little bit of fallout, but overall, very, very good mascara. Just, you know, some dry some dry fallout later in the day. You know, I flutter my lashes all day long. No, just kidding. I don't, but it happened. Just so you know. This one I just talked to you about. Best Last Lash Extreme. This is from Jordana. Fantastic mascara. Uh, my tip with this is to just take one lift out of it and get all get all you can out of this one brush. Don't be dipping back in and it'll clump on you. Okay, that's my issue uh, with it. But if I just pull it out and go through one whole lash with it and then put it in, go through one whole lash with the other, I get a really nice amount of volume and great lengthening out of this. So lengthening and some volume, really nice. So those are seven mascaras that I really love. Hopefully you've tried one or two of these, if not a couple more than one or two. And let me know what favorites you have below that I didn't mention because maybe it's a mascara I haven't tried yet. Um, I'm kind of a crazy mascara person, but it could be one that I haven't tried yet, and I just need to know what's going on with it, all right? So, I hope you like the new series, Top 5, and I will be back with you soon. Uh, I think I might do foundations next. Foundations, primers, eye primers, you all give me a lot of choices, so I'm going to figure out which one I want to do next, and that will be the next video up. So talk to you guys soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.